Hi guys, it's me, Rose McConnell, and we're back. Can I turn it up higher? I got Tony Pover. Is that good? What are you talking about? Am I too high? Do I get squished down here? Are no, we good? Get this up. Get this up like this. Okay. Yeah. Well, we don't. We don't want chicken necks or anything. <laughs> exactly. So I don't know if you remember Tony. If not, go back and watch my prior videos. She made it in with uh, How to Release Detrimental Thoughts. That was a great video. Everybody loved it. Uh, you definitely want to go back and see her do that one with me. We had a lot of fun. We were down in Florida then. Now we're in Ohio. So, why we're here today, we're going to talk about some of Tony's regimens that she does. And, oh my goodness. It's amazing, this stuff she tells me. I just want to go try all this stuff. So, you were telling me a little about the detoxification process in the lymph system. Mm-hmm. So, why don't you give me a little clue on what you were talking about exactly. Okay. Um, I was having some issues with my back after being on a boat, and, and, I, and I couldn't... It wouldn't go away like it normally did. It would just go away. And and I saw some doctors. But anyway, I ended up at this uh, detox depot, it's called. And they basically can heal. I mean, they have, there's, our bodies can heal themselves. All diseases, they believe, you know. And I actually believe I it believe too. I believe that too. But, you know, you don't want to, most people wouldn't agree with that. But let me tell you, if you want, if you do have a really bad disease and you want to cure it, you're going to work your ass off. It is, it is, but it's so, it's such a journey and that's what I've been on for almost, you know, a, over, you know, close to a year and, and with all the COVID stuff going on and none of those people, you know, they don't believe in masks or vaccines or anything like that. They, they're mm -hmm. natural healers. So they, they, I've been learning how to heal myself naturally to make myself the most optimal that I can be because, you know, I, I want to be active. I don't want to have pains and aches. So that's why I decided to do this. So, and so basically what it is, we have a lymph system and it kind of runs along our circulatory system. And the lymph system is what carries toxins out of the body or to the liver and I don't know all the really good details but the, you know you can look these up and um, it dumps them and I would I, I really didn't prepare myself to give you all the <laughs> <laughs> no I'm glad you are <laughs> Well, you know, I mean, make us understand because I, we don't know okay, what you I'm not, do. Okay, I can't go. So anyways, if if the lymph system doesn't have a pump like the heart does, so you have to move it yourself by ex walking, exercising, moving. Oh, I didn't know moves that. Moves the lymph to... Detect to and so the, and then that's the toxins in your body mm -hmm. you know because we're getting them from our food from the smells from the air from the emfs we're you know i mean mold fungus all that stuff is plays havoc on a body that's not as young as it used to be you know when you're young you can just your health you can get do about anything right you know? but it catches up with you that the toxins in your body catches up and things like uh scar tissue which i had this huge scar tissue on my leg from having an accident and it was it was 14 inches long and four inches deep and so then a lot of that um scar tissue kept the kept the um lymph from moving and that's why I was always having trouble with my right leg and my you know plantar fish it just planted because the lymph couldn't get through uh through the start the scar tissue and it, it build up toxins now I and, do have a question about that I'm sorry I didn't really mean to interrupt but people that get a lot of tattoos it you know that's like that's scar tissue too yeah exactly. that that does uh keep, uh, block, yeah, that does. It blocks the. I never even thought of that, but you know, absolutely, 
Yeah. Well, I know a lot of people and they get a lot of tattoos and it makes me wonder because I have a few scars myself and a few wrinkles and everything else. I'm getting up there in age. Yeah. But but getting rid of the scar tissue is only one part of moving your limb. Right. Too, you know, because your cells and everything is what gets detoxified that goes into your limb system. So you're going, so you're actually doing it on a cellular level. Oh, that's amazing. And, you know, I don't know how far ink goes into it on a cellular level. I suppose yeah, I it does, know you know. Either. Yeah. But that's something else to research. But so, a cell, so right now I'm doing a homeopathic HCG, which it sets your hypothalamus and it rids, uh, it takes the toxic, the, I guess toxins are held in fat cells. They take all your fat cells that have toxins in and they, and they eat them up with this HCG and that's how this diet works. You've probably heard of HCG, but that's one where you give yourself shots and everything. This one's a homeopathic one where you, um, you learn how you go in phases to detoxify and then like I know right now, I'll never eat the way I used to eat. Right. You know, just from going on this HCG, it's a really... It's a really, really terrifying diet. I, I took me two months to put my mind to I was going to try it. But my people that have been working on my body to heal my body, mm -hmm. they, kept, they would tell me, they'd say, Tony, if you did this, I think it would really help you. You know? Right. And I'm just so, so excited <laughs> about getting myself healed and where I can kayak and swim and ride my bike and everything again because I didn't get to do that last year and I really missed yeah, it. Yeah, I would you know? miss that too. I like, I loved it when I used to be really active and then at COVID, I sat for like nine months on a tent, you know, to, you know, taking people's temperatures. When you're sitting there like that all day, all night, you know, it really does wreak havoc and believe me, I noticed the well, big change that, in my body. Even that um, thermometer, like, it, it's really against the Constitution that we have to get our temperatures taken. Right. You know? Absolutely. So, and... I agree with that. Well, it's true, because I've been... Now I'm, like, getting into reading about the Constitution. I'm in this group, because that's where we have to do is get back to our Constitution. But that's not that, you know, I'm just grateful that I... I have the ability right now to have the therapies and because I take a lot of supplements. Mm -hmm. And um, if you can see, this is Deggy. Deggy, say hi to YouTube. Say hi, guys. Show them my cellulizer. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I did get to bounce on that thing. I, she had to show me how to bounce correctly because apparently there's a correct way and I did not know that. I did have fun with it, and you saw me accidentally on my other video standing on her little vibrating, uh, what do you call a it? A vibrational plate. Yeah, and it did. It shook me all up. Well, that, that moves, your, <laughs> it makes, it moves your lymph, and not only the vibrational uh, plate, I've done some research on it, it actually, like, exercises you, and, and I'm weak, you know, and so I got it on Facebook Marketplace for... Um, Ah, sorry. Not a really good deal. It, the phone, it, yeah, it's kind of hard because so, I'm going from state to state. I did not bring my tripod with. So I'm actually holding my phone through all these interviews, and it makes it a little difficult. So if I keep forgetting to look at the little camera, that's why my eyeballs always look like they're off to the other side. <laughs> Same way with Tony. This is our little camera on this side, if you can remember that. <laughs> And we look like you're looking at their eyes. I oh, know. look over there? Yeah, there's a camera here. Right there, right here? The, yep. So that's where we're supposed to be looking at. But I keep uh -huh. forgetting. Hello. Are we eyeballing it, you up? It looks up? like you're doing cross-eyed when you do that. <laughs> yeah, but it looks different on the video. We have a lot of fun. You got to hear our conversations. So uh, tell me about some of the stuff they have you doing. Because you do the, the, the hot, cold, gym? yeah, they do the hot and cold therapies and the vitamins. It, and, I don't even know all the, they have um, a lot for your brain, but I decided to first get my body done. And then yeah. when my body's all done, then I'll do their brain, uh, they, you know, training thing with neuro. Now, every once in a while, if I get 
uh, upset or something, I'll get on. There's a motion chair that goes around like this, and you Ooh. listen to these tapes with these. And then you have uh, eyes that have lights in them. Ooh, mm -hmm. that would be pretty cool. I might so, have to try that thing. And then, then you have, um, well, I told you we you should go to the gym. Yeah. And then the the sound thing, they had different for neural, you know. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and then, um, so that, I do that even, but the main thing is this movie that, that you watch that does something to your, because they, they have all these tests. They first start you out with a vitamin D um Vitamin consult, it's called, mm -hmm. and then they'll so hook you, hook you up to this machine, and the machine tells you where you need um, help, where you know you need this, you know. So they put you on a program, but it's all overwhelming because you know you need a lot when you, right? you know. When and you first start out, I'm sure yeah, of it. Yeah, so it's kind of like, but anyways, that's uh, fifty years of toxins. Oh God, that's 65 yeah, years of toxins. The, that's huge. Trying mm -hmm. to get all that out. Yeah. Yeah, I can imagine. So they have they have colonics and they have um oh they have a uh infrared sauna. Oh which, that would be pretty cool. Oh my that's my favorite thing. I don't know about the colonics. I don't I, I'm always worried about somebody putting something up my butt. <laughs> I tell you what, they're I don't really care for them, but I have a lot of friends that do it. Yeah, I seriously I, do, I have I a do. lot of friends I don't that do, do it. A lot of them, but yeah. Some people do one every week, you know. Yep. But, um, but see, I've been doing this thing called lip drain, mm -hmm. and I'm fortunate enough to have a really good therapist. He's a intern there, and um, a lymph drain is actually when they pump on each part, like your gate is. They start at your, is this your heart? Yeah, this at the side. collarbones. That's what me and Tony were just talking about in the last yeah, video. Yeah, the lymph. I mean, that's me and different Lori. than the. It's underneath your collarbone. Oh, okay. It's a there's a lymph node or it's a lymph gate. Okay. And so they start there, and like the first time, it, you can't even usually go to the next one because you can't just down there and pump one down there. Or you'll right. have some issues or whatever. In fact, I did have, I've had, I don't know how many lymph drains now, and it keeps getting better and better, you know, and I, I get really excited because he can tell how, what, where my lymph, how it's flowing through my body. Right. Mm -hmm. So, and it's bit mostly stuck in my leg. So, and they also put magnets on me. Okay. And they, they hook me up to all these different things with uh, magnets. and. I remember when Aunt Leah was taping magnets to her legs. And, and, uh, here, and she told me about it, so I did try it out. And I was walking around the house with these magnets taped to me. But, you know, I did feel better afterwards, but I found out later on... You put them in specific places. Yeah, and there's and certain I ways did not, they go. Yeah, and and I it, didn't know not, that. It's not even. It's not even. According to them, they're learning. They, in fact, they're they're having a week. Weekend. Oh, show them the thing that you're doing there. Um. So yeah. that's not sage. It's, yeah, it's Red Mountain sage. Oh, it's Red Mountain mm -hmm. sage. This stuff smells so good. She bought me some, and I put it in my truck on my dashboard. And it would heat up, and the smell is just wonderful. The like I fell in love with this. Up. Yeah, it just heated up in, on the you dash. You need to light it to make it. The smoke is what smells, though. Not the no, the smoke smells better than what it does. But you can smell it in my truck mm -hmm. from the sun heating it up. So, and of course, I'm on the road right now, so I don't. I can't like be lighting it driving down the road. Mmm, that does smell good. But that does. It's, it's all about using natural stuff. Mm. You know what? Like, you just have to really, I, what? I got, I can't do any, you know, natural, all natural stuff. Right? Well, I do. I, that I, time I had to go yesterday, I had to go get her a McDonald's and I just about <laughs> puked in the car just having that thing in my car. <laughs> just smelling it. So, I've been on the road. I've been eating so much junk food and while I'm on, on the this road. And ACG diet that yeah. nobody could survive on, but. But oh actually, no, she she did this really good cabbage and beef soup. It was so delicious. I fell in love with it. I'm definitely gonna try this recipe. Yeah, when you I get can. Home. You can take all the foods that you're allowed to have and and make, create. And I was always good at putting food together. Yeah, and creating yummy stuff. So, yeah, because you can use in all as many spices as you want. But 
I, you know, I wouldn't. So the one at the the doctors give you the HCG dye, 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 um, shot and everything. Mm -hmm. They don't detoxify your cells like this one does. Because you huh. have to have all organic. You got to right. have um, certain foods and well, just it's it's just a lot different than the one she did apples in the air fryer. What did you put on them? Just, just cinnamon? cinnamon and stevia. The only you know they were sweet so we could have. super good. Oh my goodness, loved them. Super go super Canada. good. Yeah. Why well, use stevia? Be in the market too, I've been crazy. using stevia for probably over twenty years. Which most people don't know, but I love stevia. I always have. I've always been into herbs. I don't herbs. really like that. I'd rather have honey, but or cane sugar. But I, I have. Oh, I'd rather have honey or stevia before cane sugar. Cane sugar is a little strong for me. Mm. Uh, that that taste, but uh, yeah, that does smell super good. Okay, so tell me about the vitamin regimen that they have you on because you take a. Is it curcumin? Well, I, for my, for my, they really got the, cause I was in a lot of pain a lot and, and they, I had this regimen of uh, curcumin and, and then I was supposed to take a lot of them, but right now I have some turmeric, so I put the turmeric instead of one of the I take turmeric, yeah. Now they told me that the curcumin and the curie, that stuff is like a lot more potent than. Yeah, the curamed, you got a three curamed, right? Yeah. yeah, well, I don't always buy the same brand. They other ones too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, so I got I, some, and, and then, I really did it. I really did like it. And now I do have turmeric pills at home that I mm -hmm. take. So. And then there's uh, GABA, and uh, Boswella. I've taken and, the Boswella. I don't think I ever took any of the GABA. Well, you do this combination, and she, she and if you take it, like I have to take, I take it in the morning before I go to bed, and in the middle of the day, three times, because, and that really keeps it at bay, you know. Right. It really helps out, and, and then, uh, I, she, uh, I'm also on Kratom. I use Kratom mm -hmm. for pain, and sometimes I'll go to sleep with Kratom. Use kratom to go to sleep. And exactly what is that? Kratom is a, a an herb or you know some kind of herb that they. I thought that it grew in the south. I don't know all this stuff, but then someone told me it grew further south. Yeah, it might be it might be somewhere outside of the states because I don't think I ever heard of it. You've never heard? Oh, I've heard of it a long time ago. It's got a really bad rap, you know. And there's some states that. Some states out don't. It's not legal in my state's legal. Now, are you allowed to eat mushrooms on this diet? Not on my ACG diet. Mm. No. What kind of foods do you eat on it? Um, you get three and a half ounces of meat two times a day. Um, you can either there's a couple of different types of fish you can have. I haven't even. I know the one's really expensive, but. It's, it's, you eat so very little and you're so satisfied because I can't believe you can't, I don't get hungry on, I, I, I get fatigued more than I'm hungry ever when, but you get meat and then you get this only like a choice between 12 different vegetables mm -hmm. and then, um, you can have, and you can count the onion as a spice. So you can have, so you, but, I like onion and you, you know, all the spices you want, you can have coffee. You know, but what it is, it's a uh, protein leaving out fat. And oh, you have the okay. chicken in one meal, beef in the other. That is pretty good. So what they're doing is they're starving the fat cells. Mm-hmm. Because it's like the keto is a little different. The keto diet, you can have fat. Right. Like the next phase is adding in butter and milk and mm -hmm. cheese and stuff like that, which I can't wait. But now they're saying that I should do it 45. It was only going to do it 21 days, but you can do it anyway from 21 to 45. Too bad I don't have And so I have a little jar of drops that I take um, six drops three times a day. Uh, you do a lot of oils on your skin, too. What do you What do you put on your skin? The only... I don't really use... Well, right now I can't use a lot of oil. I can't use oils on the FNG diet because that's actually putting fat into your body. Oh, okay. You know, uh, the only thing I use is I use. Uh, I, I don't. I don't really put anything on. Uh, 
I do have stuff that I want to put on, like this DSMO I use. Yeah. And you can get that cream, vitamin form too. Rose cream mm -hmm. DSMO. DSMO. I don't you think can get, you can get vitamins DSMO. Uh, yeah, I believe you can. No, oh, maybe I never heard of that. Yeah, hmm. I believe you can. I know you can get eye drops and all kinds of stuff for with the, no, not DSMO. I don't know. I there's just so many things, and I and I, I, pretty much gravitates toward the stuff I'm interested in. So, like, so then the oh did I okay after the sun oh there's the ozone therapy. Oh, yeah. Tell us about the ozone therapy. This I want to hear. Um, ozone is, uh, con I think it's concentrated oxygen, I think. pretty. Sh it, but anyways, you, um, they have an ozone machine. You hook up your tubes, and I think it went, I'm pretty sure I'm going to buy one eventually. And you hook the tube up, and you put the, first I do it in my ears, mm -hmm. three minutes. Then three minutes in each nostril. And it's like an oxygen? No, it's just a long tube with a, uh, it, a catheter. It's almost like a so that has a hole in it. Uh-huh. So it's like a catheter. So you put it in there like this. And okay. This. And then you put it in your JJ. <laughs> okay, now I'm worried. <laughs> and then you put it in your little... Well, hole. I I hope you have I I hope you have different tubes for these different procedures. Well, they use colloidal silver to clean it. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Everything's done with colloidal silver. They also have peroxide that they use to clean there. And they put the peroxide in the hot tubs and things like that. Too. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it does. They do keep it germ free. That's good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Colloidal silver will kill anything. Yep. I mean, anything. Yeah, yeah, I knew that. So then after you're, like, I wash my catheter. Mm -hmm. And some people have two of them, but they're the same. And I do these, this first, you mm -hmm. know, I don't know. Just, and so then I clean it really good and spray some light of silver on there. Now, my friend Dawn and her, Dawn and her son, my, now I've stayed at Dawn's house. I've done some of my videos from her house. You've seen her little cat, the one that bit me. <laughs> But she makes her own colloidal silver, and I thought that was pretty good. Her and her son does. Oh, she does. has one of those machines? I, I believe he does, but they make their own, and that's pretty cool. Mm hmm So, that was pretty, that was pretty interesting. So, uh... Yeah, colloidal silver is amazing. I, I wanted to ask you I something. I use it to nebulize. I put colloidal silver on my Oh, nebulizer. yeah, you have a nebulizer that you use, too. Yeah, it, That's uh, part of your regimen. Yeah, this thing here, it um, it actually has uh, glutathione, mm -hmm. um, thiamine, and colloidal silver. That's pretty cool. Oh, you got to let me try that. You want to try it? Yeah. And what it does is it... Uh, takes toxins like so it's good if you jump on the cellucizer because it's getting your lymph going and then you do that and that picks up the free radicals or something like that she's gonna have me all healthy before i yeah, even get she to pennsylvania won't listen to me. she's not gonna do it. i'm not can't I, you know what i told her i said just like i can't boss anybody around i can't tell them but i can be an example and that's what i plan on being well it's funny because i've eaten a lot of organics and natural over my life and i do do some homeopathic stuff i do do uh a lot of stuff i try to stay away from medicines i do take some when i absolutely need them but i try to avoid them i don't like going to the doctor she for don't anything. take care of herself I, she don't spend money I, on organic cigarettes or you know i eat it, a lot of junk food <laughs> she's cheap food she's she's yeah, I'm on the run all the time. <laughs> oh, shut up. That's no excuse. My McDonald's. <laughs> I have a um, bar for that. Man that McDonald's, that. I'm sorry. They She brought me back a, what was that, double quarter pounder? It was number one. No, it was number three. <laughs> you got me a number three. Go, the grease he goes, so that, you through wanted this? the I bun. Go, I don't know what the hell it is. <laughs> I just... I haven't been through McDonald's in probably 10 years. The grease soaked through the bun. It was so bad that I had to throw part of it out. I mean, it was severe. 
how much grease came through that bun off of that burger. And I was like, oh, she's right. I need to stop eating this stuff. <laughs> it was bad. It was bad. Yeah. And then today I went to, where'd I go? Oh, I went to Burger King today. Let's get rid of this. Let's yeah. sage that McDonald's yep. hamburger. Sage the, the McDonald's out of me. <laughs> yeah, I definitely need that. Oh, uh, so you do a lot of exercising there, and you get no, hot they, tubs. Well, they got like a couple of weights. No, we um we get on the bike. Oh, that's so you side of the vibrational platform, and then we hook up our oxygen. Uh huh. So the first thing you do, I go do the ozone. Mm hmm. Then I go do the um vibrational platform with o with oxygen, so that it's pumping all that oxygen through your body oh yeah so you do it right after the ozone so the ozone is going into your body much better right yeah okay so then after that um i go get my bathing suit on and i go in this uh infrared sauna and that's my favorite thing especially you know it gets me to the you know the ozone isn't that much fun but i play honest to god you're not really supposed to have your phone in there, but I play a game while I'm sitting there for 15 minutes with the tube up my butt. <laughs> she does the colonics too. I'm always worried about this. That's stuff. really good. After well, I just I don't do a lot of them, but it, I'm gonna start now after now, my limp drain get one. Yeah. Have you done the coffee enemas? Oh yeah. Do they do that there too? No. Well, they the the colonic is a, it does use they use coffee. Uh huh. But they don't. It's completely different because the water is going in and coming out. In well, out, I would, I in, like my out, coffee in up. any form. <laughs> I am a coffee hound. That's my other huge issue. Well, I gotta have you know coffee what, you all know the time. You know what's really weird that people do there? That I mean, you can study this stuff. Is urine therapy? Urine therapy yeah. is huge. You know, and it's becoming much more popular. Yeah, urine therapy is that. That's a that's one to take a while to get used to. You know, right? Uh, I think, you know, injecting. Oh, I well, even injecting ozone. It took me a little while before I was. You know, like, but now I, I want to buy my own ozone. Then you can just like lay in your bed yeah. or whatever. But do it whenever. Yeah. So the urine therapy. But the no. ozone machine is a thousand dollars, and it's not something you can find on Facebook or anything. Are they like putting the urine on their skin? What are Some they of doing? Them do, yeah, you can do that. You can do it a lot. They do a lot with their their urine. Yeah. In fact, um, the there's um, they're saying that there's um, things snuffing off of people that were vaccinated. It's mm -hmm. snuffing off onto people that you know, and people that are detoxed. They're very susceptible to any kind of toxins because it it throw it just it, they're so clean and then they get some toxins in there and you get you, you get you, they call it spinning mm -hmm. if they run into like somebody walks in there with perfume on because there a lot of those people are very sensitive to and like myself honestly mm -hmm. I'm I'm like that too I but they call it spinning because. Um, you know, like you go into a store after you're, if you're really detoxed and going to Family General or something, oh my God, you're just like, uh, you know, you have to get out and you feel like you're going to puke right. just for being in there. I mean, that's Certain how places toxic make me our feel world that way. is, you know, but I know that when I talk about how toxic things are, people think I'm crazy. No, and you don't use plastic. Use a lot of glass. Oh, yeah. yeah. Glass is really much better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You uh, get the high filtered water and yeah, drink that. Yeah, I get that from my gym. They, it's it was really like, good. Uh, it's a $30,000 filtration system on yeah. there. Where I'm from in Pennsylvania, there's a guy in there that actually has a filtration system. And it goes through like seven different types of things. Then it goes through the UV light or whatever it's called or... Yeah, it's like it goes through all this process, but the water is so good, and mm. it's only like a quarter of a gallon. This water is good too, though. Yeah, oh yeah, this water is very good. I love drinking this water much better than anything store bought or out of the tap. And she's like, you get people. We have to get away from all this toxic stuff, though. You know, the only reason that a lot of the 
everything has t uh, chemicals in now is because after World War II, they, they couldn't, when they were using, so selling a lot of chemicals during right. World War II, then they, they figured out, well, we need something to put, you know, sell our chemicals. Right, right. So well. they started making all these products with chemicals so that they, the chemical company Dow... I don't know. They, you know, they could uh, look. Looks like a big cigar. <laughs> don't smoke that. <laughs> she gets toxic it's not... free. <laughs> She'd be hollering no, at me if I did people, that. No, some of those people. do smoke there <coughs> because they they look at um, all kinds of um, things like that as medicine. Not medicine. Right. They don't think cigarette, but they 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 smoke. Mm -hmm. Some of them do. Yeah. Well, yeah, doctors used to promote it because it made people poop when they smoked. So doctors would you promote cigarettes. It used to cigarettes. make me poop when I smoked. Yeah. No, but so I that's smoked for a long time. That is true. So doctors used to promote cigarette smoking You know what, now I, I used to, when I'd go out with my friends, I they were smoking. I'd say, I, you know, give me a, can I have a cigarette or give you a dollar for one or whatever. And then now I can't even, if I... If, like the last time I was with Diane, who's one of my friends who smoked, I didn't even want any. Wow. Yeah. That's really good. So, and she could just smoke, but it is, you know, I, I know that there's probably most people couldn't do what I'm doing, you know, putting ozone up their butt, having colonics, taking a million pills, eating a really weird diet, and detoxing. And, and when you go through de detoxing like that, your your um your body goes through weird things and you don't really know what it's doing and your and your mind does too, you know it gets very emo. Sometimes you get anxious, like any like anybody coming off any drug, you get you get anxious. Look at people just trying to get off cigarettes, yeah. you know. So cigarettes is a toxin, but then if you have all these other toxins in there, so it's similar to that. Some, it's a it, uh, detoxing, and it's not like oh god, I gotta go get some more chemicals or anything, you know. Like I gotta go smell the the trash. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> when you yeah. when you, know? you when you are so ill yeah. and so many medical issues, uh -huh. you are willing to do anything well, show at that me, point. Show me the people that are and, willing because I see them every day at the gym. Yeah, well, at least well, they're going everybody. and they're trying. You yeah. know what I mean? But it's, 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 yeah, you're right. And, but it's kind of like, <clears throat> well, you do what you can, I guess. But at the same time, you know, who, there's, the world, the, I think, I don't really think people love themselves enough to take care of their bodies enough. Right. I think it has to start with your love for yourself. Absolutely. Or you're never going to heal your own body. I agree 100% with that. And I, and, and I don't know, you know, people can say, oh, I love myself, but you know, you know, they wouldn't because what are they doing to their bodies that they would never do to a little baby or right. another child or whatever. Yeah. you. I think, some people think, oh, I'm an adult. I can handle it. Your body really can't, you know, we have to start taking better care of ourselves. Me, especially. Yeah, you yeah. especially. Yeah, then, I, <laughs> I get myself all stressed out. I'm like, oh, no, I can't handle stress. But you know it's not easy, though. <laughs> it's not easy to take to, to take the initiative and do this and everything. And But um, it's I, I think it's totally worth it. But that's what it's what I want in my life. You yeah. Know? It's what I want. I want to do it. Everybody's Absolutely. got different things to do. But. And you know, and a lot of people think don't really think that this the type of thing that I do is legit or it's ancient, it's voodoo. It's like you know, and it's um, it, but it just makes so much logical sense. Kind of like what's going on politically now. Oh yeah, you, you know got the that. logical stuff. Stuff is like people. You, be, it seems so logical, but you <laughs> wanted to talk about the police state. Let's bring that up real quick. No. I mean, it's totally opposite of what we're talking. Well, let's not do all that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, where she lives is a little crazy. So, <laughs> but we love it. I love Ohio here. I'm having so much fun with Tony. Having a blast. Tomorrow, I'm leaving for Pennsylvania. But I'm not going home right away. I'm going to my aunt's. So, and she's a Western PA. And I'm more... 
central eastern uh, Pennsylvania. So I will be stopping over to see her. And <laughs> that, she's trying to. You're, get me you're out of talking, here. so you have to be in the picture. Yeah, look at me. She had to go put on her makeup. Look how washed out I, I look have right any now. Makeup? Oh yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, that's why I wanted to ask you. So you were eating the grapefruit. After doing all this toxic, tell them about your lip. Why? <laughs> <laughs> because I think it's funny how things will start coming out well, of you. Yeah, it might. It, yeah, but for some reason, yeah. Mm, it, it, yeah, that's probably what it was, just coming out. The, that was just, of course, every, if the, everything is, you know, everything is uh, toxic. You're detoxing. You're detoxing. Yeah. You know, you go in there and then it gets this happen. You detox. You know what's happening? But now today it's a little better. I was getting all this up in here, mm -hmm. and I when during my lymph lymph drain, I told him I said it's starting to hurt right here, and he said, "Well, your drain is here. Maybe it's getting clogged up here." And then he said, so, and he also um, and he and then he, he then he like was feeling the the lymph and everything. and then he said, "You have bad sinuses." I said, "No, I don't." And uh, he goes, yeah, that's why you talk through your nose. I think I do, too. But, you and, know, but I've, I've, never I've used... always had this voice. I mean, since I was a little kid. So I said, well, if I'm going to be a star and save the world, <laughs> <laughs> I better. So I got me a neti pot. I haven't, I've never done a neti pot. Oh, you'll love the neti pot. Neti pots are really good for you. Y'all should be using them. Very good for you. I heard if you use urine on your face, it's amazing. Yeah, that's what they say because yeah. it kills off all those dead well, it cells. Has like a million it's like a good toner. In, in, and no, I do not my use skin pee on my how face. Soft it is. You I do have it. You have beautiful skin. Well, it's from all the fucking work. I've been doing. <laughs> Shh! Don't nobody tell YouTube that she just cussed on YouTube. <laughs> Why you're not allowed to? No, I don't think so. I don't. I don't. <laughs> but anyways, that's like the second time I think she did. <laughs> what? Say fuck? No. Say no. See? Three. She, she cussing up a storm here. Okay, we're bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> but we're having a lot of fun here in Ohio. And I will probably be out in a month or so. And me... Her and Lori are all going to get together, and we are going to go hang out in the Himalayan salt cave, and we're going to just bury ourselves in salt, and we're going to YouTube the whole thing. So you ladies better be prepared, because I'm putting it on YouTube, and you're all going to have to watch yourselves later. <laughs> as long as I don't have to be in a bathing suit. Of course, I'll look good by now. She said you can wear whatever you want. You can put on shorts and a t shirt or a tank top. But or... you'd want your skin to be exposed. Yeah, to that, you, know? you definitely can do. Can you go naked? I don't think so because I think the other people are in there. Oh. But my, you might be able to. I, I don't know. know. I, I doubt it in Perrysburg. <laughs> <laughs> but my mother, this is weird. She used to put salt on her scalp. You know, good. Like a good and her crystal hair salt. Too. Yeah, and she would rub it in and stuff and leave it on there for like five minutes before she would shower or wash her hair. And then she would do it on her skin before her showers. And her skin was amazing. Mm -hmm. She always had beautiful skin. My mom had 